Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching <clears throat> Georgia Beer Reviews. Back at you today with another one. And today I'm looking at the Sierra Nevada Holiday Haze. This beer was introduced this year, 2018. Uh, it is a part of the Sierra Nevada Snowpack Variety Pack, which I highly recommend checking out. Uh, we did an examination on my channel earlier uh, of this beer with myself, Michael Kormoroff, and Ron Ontario of Louisiana Beer Reviews. So if you want a little bit more in-depth examination of this beer, go check that out. Um, this is the quick version, quick review. So 6.5% uh, alcohol by volume, 40 IBUs, and it's brewed, of course, by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company out of Chico, California, and Mills River, North Carolina. So, let's crack it open, give it a pour, see what we're dealing with. This is a hazy IPA. All right. Very nice. Hazy, yellow to light orange appearance. No sediment floating around in this one, even though it is hazy, there is nothing that I can detect floating around, no sediment, floaties, what have you. Uh, I don't really see too many streaming bubbles going up the glass. Doesn't look super carbonated. The head, you're looking at about a finger of a mm, white, creamy looking head. All right, so let's get an aroma on this thing. Very uh, citrusy on the aroma. Citrus forward. You're getting some grapefruit. You're getting a little bit of lemon, lemon zest. Maybe a little dankness with this one as well. Um, well, yeah, definitely some dankness with this one. The piney aromas are kind of on the back end of the aroma. The first and foremost hop note that I'm getting on the aroma is that nice citrusy component from the grapefruit, uh, or not from the grapefruit, but in the form of grapefruit and other maybe, you know, light citrusy fruits like lemon, lemon zest. It smells good. It smell you get a little bit of the, like a white bread white bread crust thing on the aroma as well, which will come into play more on the palate, I'm sure. Um, but it smells like a beer. I mean, you're getting the barley malt bready notes on the aroma as well. Very enjoyable um, on the aroma, so let's get into it. Cheers. Nice and citrusy up front. You're getting the grapefruit. You're getting a little bit of lemon. Um, there's a little bit of the piney resinous thing going on after you get those other flavors, but it's in the background. It's not the um, you know star of the show here. It's just it's there, but it's not very pronounced. It's just kind of uh, in the background, which is very good uh, because you're getting a wide range of of hop. Uh, tasting notes with this because you get the citrus and you get the piney notes and you get that little dank resinous thing as well. Uh, there's a nice white bread crust component in the middle of the sip. It's, it's got a nice breadiness, nice malt component in the middle uh, to balance out that 40 IBUs. The body is medium. The carbonation is light. The finish is crisp and clean. It is refreshing, semi-dry. I couldn't drink too much of this, though, because the bitterness at 40 IBUs, even though it is refreshing and enjoyable, um, the hoppy beers like this, Really, when you get over 30 IBUs for me, they just start to build up. And um, not that they're undrinkable, but I just wouldn't want to drink. I wouldn't want to session a beer like this. Uh, 
Very enjoyable, though. I can't really say whether or not I like this better than the other than the Sierra Nevada Sierra Nevada hazy little thing because it's been a while since I've had that, and that was um, maybe that was more like a New England style IPA. This is just a straight up hazy IPA, but I can't really remember. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's good. Nonetheless, I think it's close to an A, but it's not quite there for me. Um, but it's very enjoyable. I think I'm going to give it an 88 out of 100. I'm pretty sure that's what I gave it on the examination we did earlier as well. So my rating stays the same. It's an 88 out of 100. It's pretty much a, it's a B plus. Um, It just doesn't fall into that excellent range for me. I think um, it's not one-dimensional, though. I'll say that it's very nice. It is balanced. It's very. It's relatively light for a hazy IPA. Um, I, a lot of the IPAs like this are a little bit heavier in body and a little bit less sessionable. Like I said, though, this one is not sessionable for me. But if you're a big uh, hoppy beer lover, this one might be sessionable for you. Although it's 6.5% alcohol, it's not extremely sessionable because the alcohol would get to you after a few. Uh, there is no alcohol presence on this one. The alcohol is masked well, but I tend to find that that's the case with most IPAs because the bitterness that you get from the hops masks any alcohol presence that might be uh, there. So, 88 out of 100 for the Sierra Nevada Holiday Haze, available uh, in the Snowpack Variety Pack. I highly recommend going and checking that out. They have great beers in that pack. Um, it's an A-plus seasonal variety pack from Sierra Nevada. So that'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a great day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.